hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you three scenes that you absolutely need to know if you're doing any kind of upholstery work on a classic car. So like the first one I'm going to show you is just a basic seam. It looks like this. It's two pieces of fabric just sewn together. The second one I'm going to show you is a French seam. So that's where you sew down the middle, then open up the pieces on the back and then sew down those as well. And the third one I'm going to show you is a top stitch seam. That looks like this. So that's where you sew that seam first and then you fold both pieces of fabric at the back and then you top stitch it. So now I'm going to show you how to do all these three, all of these seams. So you sew just a simple seam, you get two pieces of fabric, put them right sides together, so that's, in this case this is a bright red side that's quite shiny, and the wrong side is this side with the sort of pattern on it, a sort of woven fabric pattern. So you just put them right sides together. can back tack that if you want to, so on this particular machine you hold this pedal bit down you can press it the machine will go backwards and then you can finish the seam to finish the seam you just put your needle up your sewing machine foot, that's this bit you raise that and you pull the fabric out from underneath and then you cut it. So that's the basic seam. You've attached these two pieces of fabric together. No decoration. There you go. This is how to do a French seam, which will look something like this once it's done. There's the back, there's the front. So again what you want to go what you wanna gonna do is you just wanna sew a simple seam along here, like this. Raise your foot up. Let's get it so that your fabric will pull free from the machine. And what you're going to want to do on this seam here is going to press these sides open. It's pretty difficult to do with one hand. Press them open. On this particular machine, I have what they call a top stitch foot, which is where this side of the foot is slightly lower than the other side. It doesn't really matter if you don't have one of these, it just makes it a ton easier. So, what you want to do is open them bits. And lower your machine foot like that. So a couple stitches. See how there's all this excess thread here? You just want to cut that off so it doesn't get in your way and doesn't make it a, you know, a scruffy stitch. You just want to sew very slowly along there. Just keeping that side of the foot lined up with the seam that you first did. Then you're just going to want to repeat that on the other side, like that. Foot down. This looks like. And then to get it out of the machine, you just snip there. So 
there is how you do a French seam. Do a top stitch, top stitched seam. That's what that looks like once it's finished. There's the back. So again, what you want to do is you want just want to sew a simple seam down your fabric. I've got these clips on here because the fabric is quite quite a lot bigger than the other bits. Just holds it in place better. So you just sew a couple of stitches. Take your clip out. underneath your machine, like that, and just cut that. Just make sure the machine's not doing anything peculiar. I'm getting the top, top side of the car underneath. So just do that. And now for this top stitch seam, you fold both of these pieces of fabric to one side, like that. Open it up and just fold them both to one side. Now on this particular machine foot, like I said it was a top stitch foot, it just makes top stitching and French seams a lot easier, but if you don't have one of those, you could probably do it with a regular machine foot. You just gently sew along here. Like that. You put your needle up. Raise your machine foot, take it out from under the machine, and then you cut off all your excess threads, like that. So there you have it, a top stitched seam. And there's all the seams that you've learnt today, a simple basic seam which is just two pieces of fabric sand sort of sandwiched together and then sewn and then you can open it up and it's quite plain there's a French seam which is where you sew the simple seam and then fold both of the things both of the excess fabric bits back in opposite directions and sew over them and here's your top stitch seam which is like that. But you sew this seam first and then you fold it. You know, open your fabric up and then fold both of the pieces of fabric to one side, both of the excess pieces, and top stitch that. I've just done these in black so that you can in black thread so that you can see what's going on. You don't have to do it in a contrast thread. You can do them in the same colour thread as whatever fabric you're doing. I've just did it in this colour just so you can see you know, what's going on and yeah what's going on and you, know, you can see a bit of contrast.